Hello and welcome to the channel. In this and subsequent videos, I will be going through making workflows in NIME, which is an analytics platform. We can compare NIME to Algorix in some ways as they offer a quite similar functionality that is extracting, transforming and loading data. Also, NIME is free and open source and it works on every major OS like Linux, Windows or Mac when compared to Altrix which doesn't have Linux support yet. When you open NIME for the first time, you are welcome with this screen. The NIME Explorer shows you all the files present in your workspace. The node repository shows all the nodes that can be used to construct the workflow. The outline shows the overall map of the workflow that we have built. The console shows the log which are generated when we execute a node. The node monitor shows the data output of a node. The description shows the information regarding the node or an element selected. In this video, we will learn about how to load data into NIME for creating workflows. For that, we will be using the adult dataset from UCI machine learning repository. Let's download the data first. Now, if we check, we get a zip file. Let's come back to NIME and create a new workflow. Let's name it Loading. All right. Since the data we downloaded is a zip file, let's try to unzip it. For that, we can use decompress files node. We can double click it to configure. The red mark shows that the node hasn't has not been configured yet. Let's double click it. We will keep it to local file system and we will select the file. And for the destination we will set relative to and current workflow. Let's create a folder named Adult. We'll check create missing folder and then apply OK. When the light becomes yellow, it means that the node has been configured but has not been run. We can run it using this button or pressing F7 on the keyboard. Now, if we refresh this, we'll get a folder here named adult which consists of all the data files. Now, let's check the content of these data files first. I will open it with notepad and this seems like a CSV file. Let's try to load this using the CSV node. We can get the, that by run using CSV reader. It automatically gets populated. Let's press OK and F7 again. In the node monitor, we can see the data that is loaded. We can also check the data from file table. But here's an issue. The first row of the data has been taken as the column names. We don't want that. Let's change that in the configuration. We'll double click it again. We will uncheck this box has column header and now we can press OK and run it again. 
now we have all the data with some random column names but we also have column names in the data let's check that In the end of this file, we get all the column names. Let's try to extract this. We will read this file using line reader now. This node reads the content of the file line by line and put that in a column. We'll check this and rename this as let's say lines. We'll press OK and run this. We can check the data here. Now we only need the last rows that consist of all the column names. Let's count how many are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13 and 14. We will check the last 14 lines using top K row filter. We will we'll connect it here and We will put in descending and let's say 14 here. Press OK and execute it. Now we get the last 14 rows. Now we want only the first part of the line as the column. We need to separate it. For that we can use a cell splitter. We can double click it. We'll keep the column as lines. For the delimiter, we will use colon. And then let's keep everything default and run this. If we check, we have a column name lines ARR0, which consists of all the column names. Let's filter only that column. For that, we can use the column filter node. Let's connect it and we'll check this one. Let's run this. Okay. Now we will rename the column using column rename. You can double click it. You can change this name to column names. Press OK run this all right but here we have 14 rows and the input file has 15 columns one is missing from here which is the last one income let's add an empty row and add the last column there connect it here we'll double click it we'll additional it to one and we will call it income 
let's press ok all right we now have a value income here now let's try to add these column names here for that we first need to extract this column names for that we can use column name extractor we'll connect it here we'll run it now the column header is the row where all the column names are present we will unpivot it so that we can get only the second row We will include all the columns and we will exclude all the retained columns. Press OK and run this. Now in the third column we have all the column names. We will append these values in this table. Let's filter this first. Just take column values. Run this once. And now we will append those two with column appender node. Let's put this in the second input. Let's run this. Now we can use a column renamer dictionary for the first we will take the original data and for the second file we will take the lookup table double click it lookup column is column values and name column is column names We'll press OK. We'll run this. And now we have the column names replaced. We can save this file to a CSV. Let's save with a CSV writer. We'll select that here. Double click it. Let's save it to adults. We'll name it adult only. Save. Press OK. Let run it. Now, if we refresh this, we'll get an adult CSV. Or else, we can also write in the proprietary name format, which is table. The configuration is similar we'll do current workflow we'll browse here and write adult and press save okay we will run this all right you can reload this and these are the files we can check them using our file explorer go to documents this is my vault this is adult this is the adult csv that we created and we have all the column names